every year there are thousands of alcohol-related deaths, yet pot remains illegal and the vilified drug. Is this fair, Matt? Of course not. I, I've done many experiments, uh, once again, on myself with both alcohol and marijuana. One day I will get very drunk and drive my car around the neighborhood and see how that affects me. And then the next day I will get high and drive around the neighborhood and see how that affects me. I've noticed that when I drive high, I tend to drive slower and because everything seems to be moving really fast. So I drive, I drive, I drive, I drive slow. And therefore when I have a collision, it's, it's kind of a minor collision. I just scrape a little paint. When I drive drunk around my neighborhood, I've noticed I'm more erratic, I drive faster, I've totaled a couple of mailboxes doing that. So it's obvious, a conclusion, hard data, that it's worse to drive drunk. Well, I certainly hope some good law enforcement people are watching tonight, identify and find you and get you off the road. Hard facts. When you get high, you get paranoid. Will you agree with me on that? Yeah, you get paranoid. Okay, uh, you yes. get paranoid. That makes you a defensive driver. When it, I, I'm always aware of who's in my blind spot because I'm, I'm afraid they're out to get me. So I'm always looking around saying, who's in my blind spot? That makes me more safe by definition. No, it does Thank not. You. You're taking that vehicle and your impairment and driving down the road and putting every one of these people and me in jeopardy. I've done tests. It's not just on me. So don't get on me about that. I've tested with teens in my neighborhood, at least hundreds me. of teens That's in my illegal. neighborhood. That is totally Absolutely. illegal. You're Everything I'm doing illegal. is illegal. Illegal, and that's why I'm on this show, is trying to convince people it should be the other way. With you. It should not be illegal. I've tested teens. They come down into my basement. They sit on the bean bags. We have toke exercises. Then I let them go drive around the neighborhood. God, They're I safe hope and somebody dry. finds where you live and gets you arrested enough out of society. I cannot believe that you are getting kids behind the wheel of a car high or drunk. I'm How is it you're not in trouble? Well, I have had a parent, and believe me, I... A parent? I, I hope you've had hundreds of parents down your throat. Down my throat? That's nasty. <laughs> I want to get don't, it down my throat Don't stuff. do that to her. In my neighborhood, I've gotten in trouble with... Uh, a, a, at least one of the parents threatened me a couple of months ago. Good. He, he called me a child molester because I was you are. with this... I'm a molester? That means I'm being sexual with them. I'm just getting high with them in bean bags. What's wrong with that? But uh, I had his son doing the toke exercises and the driving test, and he threatened to have me arrested. But then I said, hey, Wancho, where's your green card? And then all of a sudden, that was the end of the conversation. Uh, believe me. You're a, you're a jeopardy to society. Absolutely. An absolute jeopardy to society. You're, you're a wheel of fortune to society. The most